Hello, Dennis Kish here. This is Hiroshi Hayashi Hamama City, Japan. This is a video about a、uh, sort of a, a mountain you may know, Mount Kano, which is a very strange、uh, mountain.、Uh, which is a very strange mountain. Here is a story about it, and you will know that these,、uh, mount these mountains are sort of main range mountains.、Uh, this is Australia,、uh, sunburnt, beautiful country. And here you can see, as you know, Mount Kano. Just、uh, near on the same line from、uh, Katatsujuta and Ural, and here. This mount looks very strange to me because、uh, this mountain has been surrounded with、uh, strange circles.、Uh, the size is、uh, like this、uh, and 2800、uh, meters wide. And this is、uh, Mount Kano. Beautiful mountain. More beautiful than、uh, Katatujuta, I think. More beautiful than the wall, in a sense. And I found this a、uh, very strange,、uh, sort of unnatural sort of effect or、uh, cutting. And they say it's a, oh, of course, you, you may say this is a sort of natural effect made of natural,、uh, from、uh, na natural effect. But、uh, it's very strange,、uh, sort of a holes and、uh, caves. But most、uh, interesting, is, interesting part of this、uh, rock is here. You can see the circles. I don't think this is a natural effect because、uh, these lines are different from other、uh, sort of straight lines on, the, on these rocks. On this, on this one single rock, I, as you know, this is a monopolist, Ichimaigan, this,、ね uh, this, is a, this is a line I found, you know, very strange lines. How, how could, they,、uh, could nature uh, produce such a,、uh, create such a, uh, uh, lines? Anyway, this is the first uh, sort of a、uh, Um, sort of a very strange、uh, circle around the, around the mountain. Yes, one, two, three, three or four.、Uh, you can see double.、Uh, These this, this mountains have been surrounded with、uh, several sort of circles.、Uh, and in the middle of the circles, you can see the mount,、uh, mount, mount, mountain, and、uh, this is it. And this is all, and,、uh, and Katatujuta, and.、Uh, The distance between them is uh, 28.4 uh, kilometer, kilometers. And this,、uh, yes, uh, this uh, between them is uh, uh, Mount, Connor, Mount Connor and 88.4、uh, kilometers. So the ratio between them is 1 to 3.、Uh, roughly, roughly 1 to 3. Or, this is what I found, and, uh, and uh, about which I,、uh, I feel very strange. And Katatujuta, and as you know, probably、uh, Mount Connor, and I draw a line between them with a straight line, and now you see where will ease between them. This is all. See all. Now, the line between the Katatujuta and Connor、uh, just run between the, in the middle of the Mount Ola. And this line comes from the center of the Katatujuta and the center of uh, uh, Connor without any sort of、uh, mistake. And if you know the following,、uh, the fact I show you in the following video, you will see that these are sort of main range mountains, Katatujuta and Wool. I draw a line like this from here up to east,、uh, sorry, west and west. Okay, have a look at this yellow line, and the yellow line we go to somewhere, which is very interesting、uh, to you, I think, or some people. This, have a look at this yellow line, and this yellow line comes up to. Uh, Moria Island, just next to Tahichi Island. Tahichi Island is a very strange or a strange island or a sort of a, a major foothold in South Pacific Ocean. This is Tahichi Island. And this is Moria Island next to、uh, Tahichi. This is Tahichi and Moria Island is here. Moria Island. 
apparently this mount uh, this island has been uh, sort of man manly sort of uh, mathematically arranged before you watch video number 168 uh, please uh, remember this uh, this fact these four islands east island Tahiti, man Madol, the Guam are on the same line and the line will go to Mohenjo Dalo uh, directly Four points are on the same line, and this line will go to Mohenjo-daro uh, via Xi'an and a very important major cities in China. And this is uh, Tahiti Island, Mori Island, and up to Hawaii, Ma Ma Maui Island, and this line will go up to Giza, Egypt, directly. Another major footfall in uh, on the Earth. And uh, that's actually you know, 60.00 degrees. This is very important. And about 60 point degrees and about 60 degrees, this line will go to Tiwadiwaka, Mexico, another uh, sort of a major footfall or as a sort of a hobby airport for AM, ADM pilot. And 45.00 degrees will take you to Wooloo, your country, Dennis. This is not a coincidence. These are all arranged and calculated mathematically by ETs, extraterrestrial beings. And this is Moria Island, very strange island. And please watch uh, video number 168. And uh, this is my conclusion. Okay, just just conclusion. This is my or story, just a story. This is Mount Connor. It was a sort of a landing spot for huge UFOs. UFOs landed here, and uh, uh, Uluru was a sort of a direction mountain, which shows the direction to Moria Island, and. Uh, Katadujuta was a nuclear test port or was destroyed by other aliens for some reasons. I don't know why. Thank you very much for watching and see what you enjoy. Please, 168. Bye. Hello, this is Hiroshi Hayashi Hamamo City, Japan. This is English version. Nihongo ban wa 8 fun 30 byo go kara hajimarimasu. Uh, hello, uh, again, I'd like, it's my pleasure that I can talk about the mystery and the answer of South Pacific Ocean. And this is uh, Tahiti Island. Uh, this uh, today's story starts from here at, at Tahiti Island, and uh, at the, at the just the uh, west side west to Tahiti Island, there is a very strange shaped island named uh, Moria 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 River uh, Moria uh, Island, and the people of the ancient Tahiti people could travel around the uh, Pacific Ocean freely up to Hawaii and. Uh, west to Guam and uh, uh, Namador and down to Fiji Island and east to uh, Easter Island they could travel around this uh, around this big ocean freely why could they do that and here is the answer maybe or uh, I'm sure you will know the answer after about uh, eight, eight minutes this is a Mori uh, Island this is a triangled island, uh, shaped island. It's very strange, strange island. I drew a line. I draw a line like this up here. And before that, I just uh, like a little bit explain about Tahiti and uh, Moria Island. This is the uh, photographs from uh, Tahiti Island, and these uh, this is a photograph of uh, Moria Island next to Tahiti Island. Uh, the strange uh, triangled shaped island near uh, Tahiti. This uh, mountain, uh, I think, uh, is uh, in the center of the Moria Island. Anyway, have a look at this uh, map here, right? From the left side, from the left, Guam, Guam Island is here. And uh, also Guam has got uh, mountains. And the uh, next one is Namador. It's a sort of man-made uh, town or, or a village like this on the ocean. Mount Namador and Tahiti Island and uh, East Island. These four islands are on the same line. This is very strange and I, uh, some people say just uh, they are coincidence, but I don't think so. These are lined on uh, one straight line. Uh, this is uh, fact one. And next fact is that uh, from Tahiti up to Hawaii, I measured I measure angle between the lines. Here is the result from uh, Tahiti to Hawaii. Uh, okay, uh, f from Tahiti to East Island 111 and to Hawaii 350. The the angle between them 128.882. 
But uh, Hawaii is a uh, sort of a collection of islands from the east, Hawaii, Maui, Molokai, and Oahu. And if you t- take the line to Oahu, maybe the result will be a little bit different. But the strange thing is that the distance between Tahiti to Hawaii and ta- from Tahiti to East Island is the same. Have a look at this. Only five kilometers error. Error is only five kilometers. Uh, This is a Maui Island next to Hawaii. Have a look at this line and the distance, right? From up here, 42,000 and uh, 4,200, and from here, 4,299 kilometers. And here, up in the center of the island of Maui, the distance is the same as the distance between uh, Tahiti and uh, East Island. And on this island, h- here you can see a very strange uh, peak of a mountain. Oh, I don't know what this is. Anyway, back again to Tahiti. This is the map again, okay? And there's a small error between them because uh, uh, because uh, Tahiti is also a collection of islands, and Moria Island is here, right? And uh, have a look at this line, and I, I marked point like this. And uh, this line uh, from the right top is a line from Teotihuacan, and this line from Hawaii. I draw a line from Hawaii like this, and it's, it's the line comes up here. This line from Easter Island, okay? This line comes from East Island. And uh, this line go, would go to Namadol and Gum too, of course. These three are four are on the same line. And this line will go to Fiji Island. That means this island itself is a sort of a road sign which shows the direction to each important place in place, place in the Pacific Ocean. The so six directions. It shows the six directions Mora, More, Tahiti, Guam, and Namadol. Okay, Namadol here, and Teotihuacan is a very important major sort of a datum point on the Earth, and Hawaii is here, and Fiji Island is here too. That means this uh, uh, island shows, uh, also East Island too, of course, Uh, this island shows the direction to these places very accurately. So, do you think this is a sort of nature effect, or man-made, or man-arranged island? Then, you want to know who knows? Uh, no, no, W O W N O W. Who uh, that? In, who you want to know? Who did it? Who did it? Here is the answer. Very easy to answer this question. These islands are uh, were had been arranged by those people who could see these places or the ocean from the space. That means people of Tahiti are helped. I think were helped by aliens because he could uh, see the ocean from the space, okay? Otherwise, who could arrange this Earth? And also, 90 degrees from uh, Tahiti uh, against the uh, Hawaii line, this is a, uh, I called South Pacific cross point. Have a look at this uh, South Pacific cross point. The line comes up here from Tahiti at the angle of 90, and have a look at this uh, uh, purple line from uh, South Pacific cross point, have a look carefully at this line, right? This line will go straight to USA. This is Bryce Intaglios and uh, Kaukia Mounds, and straight on the, on the same line, and Serpent Mount too. These three sort of ruins or sort of uh, ancient cultures were on the same line. And also, the, the, purple, the purple line will go to Mali in Africa. Africa. Um, a little bit uh, uh, error here because Mali is a very huge uh, sort of a uh, widely spread area, so it's hard to say where is Mali is. Any anyway, Namadoli is here. I, another fact is that this is East Pole. I call. I have used this uh, pole uh, point many times. Then we have here, and this uh, green line will take you to East Island, Nazca. And have a look at this angle. The angle is just between them, 45.0 degrees, degrees sharp. Then you are asking me, who could do this? The answer is very simple. Those who could fly and could see the uh, area around here, Pacific Ocean, from the space, could arrange these things, geometrically or mathematically. And have a look at this. Uh, yes, uh, okay. And this is the answer of it. That's why... 
people of Tahiti could、uh, travel around from Guam to, Guam to, to Hawaii to the East Island or to Fiji Island? This is the answer. Because they helped the people of Tahiti. Thank you very much for your watching and sorry for my, for, for my English. See you again next、uh, on video number 169. Bye. Hello, this is Hiroshi Hayashi, Hamama City, Japan, January the 20th, 2013. Today, I'd like to talk about the mystery of South Pacific Ocean. This is Japanese version. Mina san, konnichiwa. Kyo wa Minami Taihei yo no nazo nitsuite hana shimas. Kore ga Tahiti to des, Tahiti to des ne. De kono Tahiti to no hidari gawa, te mas ka, nishi gawa ni aru no ga Moria to des ne. Kyo wa kono Moria to ni chakmok shimashita. でなぜこの大使を中心とした人々がですね西はガムからフィージーそれからあの東はですねイースター島まで自由に、まあ、北の方はハワイまで陸わけですけども自由にこの,この太平洋を航行できたかということにの謎について話をさせていただきたいと思いますその理由はやがて皆さんもお分かりになると思いますまあそのそこでまずこの太使島をですね見てください、まあ、ここの住民たちがこの太平洋をですねどんな機械を使ったのか知りませんけども、自由に航行してたわけですね。あの最近の,あの研究によれば、調査によれば、イースター島の,あのモアイもですね、タヒ島にあった、まあ、と関係があるということが分かってきました。これがあの今言ったモレア島ですね。で、このモレア島に線を引いてみました。で、これはまああのこういう形に三角形を浮かび上がってくるわけですね。で、これがあのこれはタヒ市の方の,あの遺跡です。これ一見あの普通の階段に見えますけどもあの大きな階段なんですよ。それからこれもあのそうですね。あの今のはテンプルということになっています。これがあのモレア島です。この中心に、まあ、実にそれを思わせるなってますかあの島があるわけですね。島というかあの山があるんですね。で、これがあの、まあ、あの何かの意味をするかどうかはそれは分かりませんけどもモレア島のにあるまあ島だということですこれここれ。これが中心にある島だったと思いますよ。でま,ずそのまずこの事実を見てください。左の方、すなわち西の方からですね、これはあのガム島です。それからガム島ですね。ガム島にも高い山があります。それからナンマドール。これはあの人口、まさに人口造成島ですね。海の上に作られた村といいますか、巨大な石で作られた村です。それからこれがタヒシです。タヒシですね。で、モーレア島です。そしてこれがあのイースターアイランドです。これらの4つの島のはですね、一直線に並んでいるということです。あの数キロの誤差はありますけども、まあ、あの一直線に並んでいると見ていいわけですね。まあ、これが第一の事実ですけども、まあ、こ,のこの事実すらもご存じない方が多いと思います。そしてこの線に対してですね、この60度、まあ、こっちから見ると東西から見ると60度ですけども、120度のところにハワイ島があるわけです。まあ、正確にあの角度を測ってみました。で、これが 111.73 ですね、東の方へ。そして、の上の方へ 350.81、間の角度は 120.82 ですね。あのただし、ハワイと言いましてもですね、東の方からハワイ島、それからマウイ島、モロカイ島、オアフ島というふうに並んでまして、まあ、あのハワイ島よりもマウイ島の方が私は正確だと思いますので、角度がもう少し。あの大きくなるかもしれませんで距離を測ってみましたらこれ実に不思議なことが分かったんですね。この、あのー、ハワイからですねマウイ島の距離が4288キロそれからあのタヒチの先ほどのモ,アモ,あのモ,モレア島からイースター島までがあの今示しました距離なんですね。同じなんですね。誤差があのごもうないと言っていいでしょう。それからこれがあのマウイ島なんですけどこのマウ,マウイ島を見てください。ここまでの距離とは、まあ、このちょうど中間あたりがあのイーサー島への距離と同じになるんですけどもここにですねあのなってますか、大使を示す直線があるんですね。でここに4288キロほとんどここまでの距離とあのイーサー島までの距離が同じなんです。そしてマウイ,マウイにはですねこんな奇妙な山があるんですね。でまあ、あのまさにこの目印になるような山というふうに考えてよろしいんじゃないでしょうか。もう一度、あの太子島に戻っています。太子地に戻りますと、えー、先ほど、まあ、あの線が二重になっているのはです、ね、あの多少の誤差が出ているという意味なんですね。あるいは先ほどの線はガム島から引いた線です。これがモ,モーリア島ですね。でこれが、まあ、点,点を取っていました。中心にまあ山があるわけです。でこの線はです、ね、テオティワ海から引いた線です。
この線はテオティワ湾から引いた線です。ちょうど頂点を飛ぶわけですね。この線はあのハワイから来た線です。ハワイから引いていました。ま,すまさにその頂点を飛ぶ。この線はイーサー島から引いた線です。ね、そしてこの上の,あの,上の線はですね当然あのこれはあのナンマドールガム、えっとまあ、この線ですねこの線はと真ん中の線はつながっていくわけですねそして上の線はですねフィージー島とつながるんですねこれはあの偶然ではありませんちゃんと計算されてるんですねということはこのモーレア島というのはまさに人口造成島と考えていいわけですまあ,あの異星人たちにとってはこの,この程度の造成は朝飯前なんですねでモーレア島大使ですガム島ですそれからナンマドールですね。テオティワカンですね、その次が。まあ、こういう位置関係にあるわけです。そしてハワイがここにあって、そして今度は斜め下の左の下の方へ行くと、えー、フィジー島へと行くわけです。で、この間の角度、黄色線とあのブルーの線の角度は、これは90度ではありません。あの黄色線と白い線の角度は60度、反対側から見ると120度なんですね。それじゃあ、ということで、まあ、もうちょっと深くしあ調べてみたいと思います。えー、じゃあミステリーはですね、ここでみ、まあ、皆さんがあのも,うもう誰がしたかなんて書いてますけど、答えは分かりきったことでして、もう明らかにこの人間の英知を、人間のその当時の、あのなんて言いますか、あの知恵を超えた人たちがこういうふうにアレンジしたわけですね。もっとはっきり言えば、宇宙からこの,この辺、この辺りを見ることができた人のみによって、こういうことが可能なんですね。さらにですね、不思議なことが起きるんですね。これは先ほど、あの大地からもあブルーの線が漏れ跡を引いたんです。この下の線がね、ちょうどハワイの線に対して 90.00 で引いていました。そうしましたらですね、ここであの私が今までずっと使ってきましたクロスポイント、南太平洋というところ、いわゆるそのクロスポイントサウスパシフィックへやってくるわけです。そしてこのクロスポイントパシフィックからですね、120度、正確に120度で、右上の方へあの紫の線をこれからずっと注目してください。赤紫の線ですね。これがですね、アメリカの大陸、USA を横切るわけです。で、ブライス・インタグリオス、アメリカのいわゆるそのまあ遺跡ですね。それからカフキア・マウンテン、マウンズ。それから、まあ、アメリカというのはあの大陸の方、USA の方にはあまりないんですね。そしてこれがサーペント・マウンド。この3つがですね、この一直線上にあるということなんです。先ほど言いました、南あのサービス・パセックのラインから、伸びてるということで、ね、さらに伸ばしていきますと、この赤い線がですね、マリへと伸びていくんですね。ちょっとあのマリの方でもあの南の方にちょっと、まあ、マリは広いですからね、あのずれていくということなんです。このようにですね、ナンマドール、まあ、それからイースター、まあ、あのイーストポールですね、まあ、イーストポールと呼んでます。で、プレアビヒア。この間の,あの角度、この、まあ、今この線はですね、イースター島からナズカ行く線なんですね。そしてこの間の角度が、ね、正確に45度なんですね。いわゆるイーストポールからあの生ドール行く線が45度だということなんです。じゃあ誰がこんなことができたかということはもうお分かりですね。それを考えれば、どうしてタヒ,タヒチの人たちがここを拠点として、この南太平洋をです、ね、自由に航行できたかということがもうお分かりですよね。あのもちろんあの大使の人たちのみの力で行けたとは誰も考えておりません謎、まあ。謎だ謎だなんて言ってるのではなくて、謎でも何でもないんですね。どういうことかというと、こうしたその地理的にといいますか、幾何学的なアレンジができた人のみによって、この、まあ、こういうことが可能だ、言い換えると、まあ、彼らが、まあ、大使の人たちを何らかの形で助けたということが、これで理解できしていただけるんじゃないかと思います。Thank you very much for、uh, watching and see you again next video 169. Bye!